So hello and welcome to you wherever you are. We are here at this most recognisable of venues in world football. It is the Camp Nou, the proud and impressive home of FC Barcelona. And here we have Barcelona against Chelsea. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you, I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. The instantly recognisable sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem, the perfect backdrop to this eagerly awaited night of European football. Barcelona are in a 4-3-3 formation. Yeah, it allows for an expansive passing game, and with everyone doing their job properly, it can be difficult to contain. see making the difference here well a man who splits opinion David Luiz is he a midfielder or a defender I would say the former because he has an impetuous streak that can't be trusted at the back but full of Brazilian flair and, and what a shot yeah I must agree especially in view of his ability to lead and organize the defense Cesc Fabregas Morata Petro Long and high towards the flank. A chance to play it in. Pedro. We stop for the header. He scores. Oh, offside. Yeah, the referee hadn't spotted his assistant's raised flag. He has now, so he's ruled the goal out for offside. A moment's uncertainty there, but it is the right call. Jordi Alba. De La Feu. Nelson Semedo. And it's Iniesta. Jordi Alba. It's not the game we were hoping for, Peter. I think both of these keepers could text about their respective uninvolvement. <laughs> Can he put it away? there to make a great save or well, what can I say truly wonderful goalkeeping Goes looking. Moses. Good idea, just poorly executed. <laughs> Sergio Busquets. Iniesta. De La Feu. It's been taken straight back. 
Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. And the potential here for the first goal of the game. Iniesta. Iniesta! Another chance! In for the follow-up! Goal! Barcelona! Messi with a predatory goal. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Barcelona break the deadlock. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. And it's Morata. Cesc Fabregas. He's made sure that that won't get through. Well, here is the raid we were told to expect. Jordi Alba. He's had a run down the left wing. Jordi Alba. Gorgeous control there. He's gone for it! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. goes for half time so there you have it a close fought half of football but one that still had its moments but ultimately produced just one goal a more than decent game up to now well you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half time lead but i think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too they work tirelessly for me barcelona head into the dressing room pleased with the thought that they have that all important lead analysis to come during the break Already up and running for the second half. Barcelona carry a one-goal lead into the second half. He's had a look. Forward it goes. And now they can launch a counter. Now it's Azar. Azar pushes it out wide. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Can't get the better of his opposite number. Lobs it in gently. And the flag has stayed down. That'll be a corner. Up to meet it! Oh, not the best of headers. I think he deserves credit for, for getting something away, given that he had to contend with a, a double dose of closing down. Semedo. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and they fight. Oh, no question, that's a foul. <laughs> this is promising. He's... Can he finish? That really should have hit the net. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks a harder thing to do. Chelsea look as though they're about to make a change. Nelson Semedo. De La Feu. Now he's wondering who wants it. Busquets. So Jim, what are you thinking? The 
there's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Rubiger. Conte. Barcelona still have one last substitution available. Aimed long and direct. Some good play on the left-hand side now to this is good for attention and it should be enough from here but they want to double their advantage it's Morata oh surely that deserved better it didn't quite come off on this occasion but it only needs a gentle tweak So, the manager making the last of his changes. Oh, fists it away. William with the ball through. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Nelson Semedo. And it's Going through. Just five minutes remaining now. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Look, I know our vantage point is, is very different, but he looked on. Machuayi. Machuayi! Just off target. Oh, how close was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Sergio Busquets. The official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Messi, he's got away, he's had a go! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. distance on it there is the final whistle Barcelona hold on it's a narrow squeak bit of luck some judgment 1-0 the score at the final whistle and there's a lot more to read into this game than just the scoreline and with that it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening